Kangaroos. Good evening, everyone. Alongside Vince Odoricio, I am Josh Peterson. Vince, Jays come into this one looking to get their third win of a very uh, young First, season. we will look at the Jays' opponent. The Kangaroos limit scoring in quick spurts the last 45 minutes of this match and also a fast start. Yes. in their most recent outing against Penn. Ricky Lopez Espin, Riggs Lennon, Ricardo Perez, Lucas Soccer. All right, on the other side for UMKC, the Kangaroos coming to this one, one and two on the year. Out of the whack, Andalus Pop Georgiev, Victor Ola Runfimi, Antoine Prasher, Diego Serfati, Mikolay Drago, and in goal, interesting start to the season for UMKC. Vince, they've had three keepers start. They've and, had. Uh, he's looking to make a good one, I'm sure. Allowed two goals, did Errico in their most recent outing. That one against Drake. You look at the keepers behind him. Henrik Regetnig allowed one goal earlier on in the season. Ryan Tome, right, canceled. Uh, another one was delayed quite a bit. So this one, you know, it's 7 4. Looks like maybe the bad luck's leaving, though, the, the bad one. I weather. think the Jays can really use the uh, the quickness of the field tonight. Uh, how many players would be choosing grass? Um, it just is a little bit more true. It doesn't bounce as much. That ball sometimes bounces on this Astro turf, even though it is a uh, got the rubber base. Cross that in, which is okay. Especially when you guys got like uh, got guys like Ricardo Lopez that uh, or Perez that, that like the ball at their feet can make something happen. There is Perez with that left foot and looks like not a down to Prasher. Antoine Prasher giving it up. Bright yellow uniforms tonight worn by UNKC as Caruso kicks that off of Lopez Espin and it will remain with UMKC. Creighton wearing their white tops with the blue shorts. Always sharp uniforms for the last 15 seconds or so from UMKC. And Lennon loses it, just a bit wide on that pass. Yeah, just a little bit of bad luck there. Tried to let the ball roll across his body. Just had a little bit too much pace for him to roll over the line. But uh, had, had it worked out for him, I think they would have been able to uh, get in behind and get a cross off. Pick that up and uh, spotted it. UMKC may have a dangerous opportunity here to score. The right foot dangerous and that ball a little high and wide from Felipe going long. Muller and Femi there giving it up to pressure. Back to Cepeda. Cepeda with the right foot, and looks like Stauffer got it for the Jays. Down in the UMKC area in that final third, Rydstrand with that right foot, and just a little high there off of Ricky Lopez Espins. Yeah, getting a second look at it, it's actually not too bad of a ball. There's Ooh. Lopez Espin just on by Rydstrand, and Suddenly the Jays perhaps with another opportunity, but a good defensive play there from UAMKC. Pup Georgiev once again showing up on your screen. Here's McWoods, Eric McWoods back to pressure. That's nothing. And good defense being played by the Blue Jays once again. Pass from Frankie goes to UMKC. What a great move by Pup Georgiev. And he ultimately loses it. And the ball will remain with the Kangaroos. He was, Pop Georgia was a little disappointed there for a second. It looks like the ref just said, hey, calm down. You're okay. You're getting the ball back. Yeah, he won. I think he wanted a card there. Uh, Lucas just pulled him back just a little bit. I think it was a 
good, good, good decision by the referee. It wasn't malicious. Yeah, he was almost uh, 45, 50 yards out there, so uh, would have been tough to score from there. But he did hit it with some power, so hopefully he doesn't get any chances without a wall. There was that play from Stauffer pulling on Pop Georgiev. A long cross to Lennon, and good defense played by you. So Riggs Lennon got a bit of that left foot on it, but not enough. So pressure gets it, and this one from Erickum, Erickmo to Perez. Here's the Jays attacking kind of down the middle like they did against Penn the other night, this time to no avail, but um, it will keep UMKC honest. Their, their outside backs will need to stay a little bit uh, a little bit pinched in more, and uh, that will eventually give space for the outside backs of Creighton to attack that open space. Here's Antoine Prusher, loses the ball out of bounds, but it does bounce off of a J, so it will remain with him and UMKC. And they there as well, you can see number nine, Riggs Lennon, that wall being set up by UMKC. Great angle here of what Rydstrand is looking at as everyone kind of gets into place on the right side of your screen. Right foot taken in so by... Nonetheless, it's better than putting it six rows into the stands. Header quickly to Lopez Espin Ooh. right there by pressure. And nothing called. And the action continues. Long pass now to McWoods. And McWoods runs into Alex Cap. Good sportsmanship there by Cap, helping McWoods up. Uh, he did run into him, and you know Cap's ready for that. He's a he's a Let's young. See. Here's Lennon. Lennon look for looking for Lopez Espin there at the bottom of your screen, and see if Lopez Espin's able to catch it. He is. There's four to Lopez Espin once more, and he'll kick it out to Stauffer. Stauffer with the right foot. High. Miles English entering the game for Rydstrand. There's a long cross. First and half. Good and here's run an by opportunity. Miles there. Good one touch passing. Great passing on this possession so far. Long cross. Headed out by pressure. Yeah, I'd like to see Creighton's left back four maybe push up and uh, help Lucas Stauffer out there. He's got kind of a two-on-one as he's, he's trying to break out the play. And, you know, UMK, not sure if the coaches want that, but uh, I wouldn't mind, uh, you know, stepping up just a little bit there and letting Lucas. Nice jump in front of that ball by pressure there. Yeah, good idea by Noah to play the intercepted pass on one touch. Just didn't execute very well. Good switch. Here is McWoods. And an offside. To, uh, claim it. Caruso to pressure. Pressure to Cepeda. Good defense by Inglis. Here is Lopez Espin. Caruso grabbing on the jersey just a tad. Here is Inglis. Great little ball. Good, good defending there by uh, respect this team. They're, they might not have the greatest record, but uh, four so and just a bit too long there. Four lifts up his hand. Saying my bad. So back to forward. Here's Perez. Great ball. Perez to Inglis. Inglis gets the goal. Great finish there. Great job. Good patience by the Jays moving off that ball. Ricardo Perez did very well to pick his head up, realize he's got a little bit of time on the ball. And Miles Inglis was very, showed very good composure and uh, showed great technique to put that ball away. First goal of the season for the senior. Miles England. See what happens here in these final ten and a half minutes of the first half. Yeah, Josh, as we kind of mentioned, this is a an odd night to play. It's a Tuesday, Tuesday for their conference game. So um, with the rain, it, 
you know, and the, the crowd not being as large. Success as on offense this year has been in the second half, and that's where UMKC has struggled. So that's Stauffer. Stauffer with the right foot now. And Eric Hill once again. He's got his momentum going towards goal, and uh, the shot ends up on frame. So hopefully that builds his confidence, and if he gets another shot, uh, maybe third time's a charm. Here's Lopez Espin. Three on one here for the Jays. With another opportunity, Lopez Espin with the right foot, and that one goes in. Well done there by the Jays. Great count. Came into this match, did Lopez Espin. Four shots on the season, no goals. Five shots so far tonight, Vince. And now he gets the first goal. We can continue to uh, have that type of production on well, what's only, uh, you know, four or five shots on goal. If we can score two out of every five shots on goal, a game to bed. So we see that here tonight. And, man, I, 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 hate, I hate to be too wishful, but it would be nice to get one more and really seal this game off. Uh, before halftime. Pop Georgiev loses the ball there to the Blue Jays. And so five and a half left in the first half here. Let's see if... Pressure and confidence that you lose and gain fall right on the shoulders of your opponent. So. Good play by Mitch Legro to get that ball from Eric McWoods. Whoop. A few seconds ago, nice move there by Inglis. And now the Jays perhaps another opportunity. Four and a half left now in the first half. Pull it back a little bit to down in, uh, in in Nebraska has been a good uh, good program over the last uh, 20 years or so for Creighton, and they've limited the shot opportunities for UMKC. Let's see what happens here. Punch out by Cap Rumpler with the right foot. That one goes high, Fabio Rumpler, and you can see oh, end with the Jays up 2-0 on the Kangaroos of UMKC. We will step aside for a bit. We'll have highlights, we'll have statistics, and we'll have the final 45 minutes of this one on the other side right here on GoCreighton.com. So if uh, we're to be out on the field. Let's take a look at the first half highlights in this one between the two. To Lopez Espin to uh, get a good shot off and finish very, very neatly into the corner. KC tries to make up for that deficit. We talked a lot early on about shots and shots given up by UMKC, shots had by the Jays. Jays came into this one averaging 16.2 shots per match, already at 10. And this is a UMKC squad that has given a up about- A little bit of space, and that showed me good signs that he was confident in his ability. Coaches maybe said, hey, you know what? Take those opportunities. I don't care if you score. I want you to get in a better rhythm, build your confidence up. And he had over half the team shots, and. Uh, more than half their shots on goal. Three of the five shots on goal were from Lopez Espin. Forced that really nice save, and obviously the uh, the second one uh, is into the back of the net. So hopefully he can get a brace tonight. That would be really good for his confidence and the team's confidence, uh, knowing that he's starting to get back to his, uh, to his normal self before he was injured. Area doesn't have anybody on the line. There's Pop Georgiev. Nice header there from Riggs Lennon to clear it. Yes. Alive and alert was Riggs Lennon on the line there or on the back post and did well. Good positioning and uh, good clearance from Riggs Lennon. Although the danger's on its way back in as they get the ball out wide here. Dangerous ball in, but good defending again from the Jays. Hopefully uh, they, haven't really they haven't really started on the front foot as the half just underway and maybe Frankie. a little. Frankie hasn't been asked to do a whole lot tonight. Uh, hasn't gotten involved as he as he had against UNO. And Here's Drago, right half of your screen. And a couple Blue Jays The there. invisible shaving cream spray. Pop Georgiev. And Cap gets dirty there. Ricardo Perez, nice ball back to Perez. There's Rydstrand. So another opportunity upcoming. The foot obviously of his career as well. He is a freshman from Italy. Started the most recent outing that the Roos had against Drake, a 2-0 loss. And finds himself in the exact same hole right now. Trying to change that is Pop Georgiev. And we certainly have said his name quite a bit tonight. Sometimes correctly, other times incorrectly. Yeah, he's been the, he's been the most lively player, I would say, for UMKC. Um, Always wants the ball, not afraid to get in the thick of the action, which is what you, what you want to see out of your number 10. Um, maybe lacking the supporting cast that uh, he, he's maybe used to, but 
Um, the Blue Jays, credit, credit to the Blue Jays' defense, they haven't really had uh, opportunities to get in behind too, too often. Ruse wanted a handball just a couple minutes or a couple seconds ago, rather. They're unable to get one. Good position to win that ball, spring the counter attack. You know, Frankie and Perez were able to find each other. Eventually ends up wide for English. His cross just unable to find the clock. And yep. there it is. Yep. Reset to 36 30. Creighton always trying to uh, get any advantage they can, right? <laughs> Being up a goal. And so action resumes, and now we're at 36.25 to go in this one between Creighton and UNK UMKC. Here's Eric McWoods. Piece in the back of the defense there for the Jays. And there you see a replay of that tackle there. A nice play, and here comes another potential nice play for the Jays. That ball from Rydstrand off his right foot. that with the inside of his foot and place it back across the goal. Maybe a la his uh, countryman Ibrahimovic, but uh, unable to have good contact on that ball. Difficult skill nonetheless. Here's Drago. He slips and falls. What a save right there by Alex Cap Pop Georgiev. Wow. Trying for the net, and that was a scary situation for the Jays, but really good heady play from Alex Cap keeping that one out of the net. Yeah, I think the Blue Jays just kind of stopped, maybe thought that ball was going to be struck by the first player, and Papa Georgiev just not able to get as much pace on that ball as he wanted to as the next cross comes in, and Cap does well to collect. But, yeah, going back to that, it uh, looks like Papa Georgiev had a great opportunity. Cap with a great save. Yeah, went off his foot, bounced into a J. Pop Georgiev had an opportunity, and... Inglis chases the ball down, trying to give the Jays an opportunity. Here's Frankie. Frankie inside the box. Nice move from Frankie with the left foot. And that one is knocked away by Filippo Errico, but a corner opportunity now coming for the Jays. Yeah, just as we mentioned that Frankie hasn't really gotten a whole lot of involvement in the game. He springs to life there on that play and ends up striking the ball right towards the keeper. Uh, the keeper just had to get his hand on it. Maybe he'd like to see Frankie bend that into the far post next time, but great save. Force the going over to him. You can see him right there on your screen. He still looks to be grimacing pain. Yeah, it's not really made an effort yet to get up. So. Yeah, I got the head on it. Uh, nothing, again, really threatening from the Jays, and I'll do... Uh, I think I think Coach Bulovich will want to see more chances created from their from their corner kicks. I know the Jays have had a lot over the last couple of weeks uh, in the, in our games, and opportunity you're given, so can't waste any chances. There's a long pass from Prescott. Here is Lucas Stauffer now to Riggs Lennon, and that one is punched away. And it'll be like we mentioned last game, strong player, very confident on the ball, comfortable turning with pressure on his back and connecting that next pass. So still coming down, just a little bit of a sprinkle or a drizzle. Um, hopefully that uh, lets up before the last, uh, for the final whistle, so to speak. But are you saying that because you would like us to walk outside with no rain? Or because you <laughs> are worried how it will affect the play on the field? Maybe a little bit of both. I was thinking Maybe certainly the former. Both. All right, you got me. And I don't have an umbrella. I don't know about you. Here is UMKC to McWoods, but an offside call on Eric McWoods. Until the line, you know, if the referee misses it, you're, you, the referee blows or call, calls for it, he calls for it. But if he doesn't, you're in on goal, and uh, it's probably 3 nothing to the Jays right now. Good pressure from Creighton to get that ball back. Yeah. Really putting a lot of pressure. Here's four. Have the Jays so far. Julius Ford gives it up. And Craig I'm not, not sure what, what all Riggs could have done being 30 yards out, but uh, this would be a great opportunity for uh, Creighton to execute a set piece. And with Lennon to his left. Lennon will take the kick with the left foot. Another great save from Mariko. Yeah, good strike, forced the save, which is what you're looking to do, especially in these conditions where it's a little wet, like we mentioned, and we hope it stops. But um, great strike. Here was that left foot, and then you see Errico 
get up off the ground. See with traffic in front as we work for another shot here. And we have another foul, but uh, Creighton will look to put this on goal again. But yeah, the uh, the saves that he's made, that, that free kick that we just had, goal bound, uh, forced, you're going to need a good, good save to keep that out, and, and he was equal to the task. And Lopez Espin had a uh, nice strike to that near post that dipped right before it went to goal, and the goalie saved it. So, um, And there is another goal for the Blue Jays. Riggs Lennon. Gives the Jays a third goal of this one. His second of the year, and the Jays are up 3-0. Riggs seeing the goalie lining the wall up. That's why it's a four, four words job. And uh, one is you get in front of the ball, make sure that the, the opponent can't play anything quick while your team gets organized. And number two pays off for him. Here we go again for the Blue Jays. Another oh. chance. That one goes a little wide. Kept in. Ole. Oh. Almost able to get a little megs there through the A. Anybody get hurt or B. Uh, anybody get carded or in uh, in trouble for just a misinformed tackle or ill-advised challenge. Dangerous opportunity there. Couple of substitutions entering for the Blue Jays. Kareem Sawaf, the freshman. Bryce Gibson, also a freshman. Enter this one. Mitch Legro. Prescott to Rumpler. And a bad pass there. Gets taken by Pop Georgiev. As that's been. And that one is taken away. And that will do it. Jays get a 3-0 victory over the Ruse of UMKC. They move to 3-1-1 on the season, and UMKC falls to 1-3 on the 2016 campaign. You know, I think kind of kind of shows the brightness of where the Jays are headed. The traditional fireworks following a victory for the Jays as they...
Drago, he slips and falls. What a save right now. Just kind of stopped, maybe thought that ball was going to be struck by the first player. And Wide. Just doing what I like, bad things to you, I know you want me to